Good afternoon and welcome to our Holy Week service here on this Thursday of Holy Week. It is Maundy Thursday and I hope, I hope many of you will be back tonight for the 7 o'clock uh, Maundy Thursday worship experience. It uh, will be a very sacred and special time as we gather and remember uh, that last little bit of Jesus' journey to the cross. We hear some of that today in our text as we gather and as we read. But before we get to that place, uh, we will begin as we have each day with a time to pray, to pray for the concerns of our community, for our own concerns, the concerns of our church and of the world. Uh, today especially, uh, we, lift, we lift the Carlisle family up, uh, Ken and Donna Carlisle, their daughter-in-law, Tracy Stanley, who's 37, passed away uh, Tuesday early morning, 2.30 Tuesday morning, I believe. She's been battling cancer for a long time. This was actually the second round of cancer. And so uh, she leaves three children, uh, her daughter, Brandy, uh, Brittany, who's uh, 20, 19 or 20, and then James and Carson. And you've seen James and Carson in worship with their grandparents. They sit right over there. James is the tall, red-headed acolyte that we have, and uh, just a great, great family. And so we pray for them, and especially for Tracy's husband, uh, Donnie, uh, who uh, we've been working together with them to plan that service. That will be uh, Saturday at 2 in the afternoon right here in the sanctuary for those who would be able to come and support that family. Tracy and Donnie just moved here about a year and a half ago, and uh, so they... They hadn't really connected with anybody or made new friends yet. She's just been so sick. She's just been at home. And so I think uh, our church family will need to be meaningfully present for them as we go forward. And I know that you all will. And uh, Ken and Donna uh, are part of uh, Sharon and Perk's class, and, and they uh, will definitely need our support too. So I share that with you as we begin a time of prayer. So let's, let's pray together. O oh God, by the passion of your blessed Son, you made an instrument of shameful death to be for us the means of life. Grant us so to glory in the cross of Christ that we may gladly suffer shame and loss for the sake of your Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. It is in your name that we come to pray. We pray for the people of this congregation. Lord, in your mercy. We pray for those who suffer and who are in trouble. Lord, in your mercy. We pray for the concerns of Crossville and Cumberland County. in your mercy we pray for this world its people and its leaders in your mercy we pray for the earth you have given us Lord 
in your mercy. We pray for the church universal, its leaders, its people, and its mission. Lord, in your mercy. Finally, Lord, we just lift to you all that is left, all those concerns and thoughts that weigh heavy on our hearts and minds that maybe don't fit any category. We lift them to you. in your mercy we pray all of this in the name of Jesus and we also pray the prayer that he taught us our father who art in heaven hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who have trespassed against us Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever. Amen. Would you please stand and join me in singing hymn number 298, 298, When I Survey the Wondrous Cross. <clears throat>
Our gospel lesson today is from John's gospel, the 13th chapter, verses 1 through 17, and then verses 31 and 35. Let us hear the word of God. Now before the festival of the Passover, Jesus knew that this hour had come to de- that his hour had come to depart from this world and go to the Father. Having loved his own who were in the world, he loved them to the end. The devil had already put it into the heart of Judas, son of Simon Iscariot, to betray him. And during supper, Jesus, knowing that the Father had given all things into his hands and that he had come from God and was going to God, got up from the table, took off his outer robe, and tied a towel around himself. Then he poured water into a basin and began to wash the disciples' feet and to wipe them with the towel that was tied around him. He came to Simon Peter, who said to him, Lord, are you going to wash my feet? Jesus answered, You do not know now what I am doing, but later you will understand. Peter said to him, You will never wash my feet. Jesus answered, Unless I wash you, you have no share with me. Simon Peter said to him, Lord, not my feet only, but also my hands and my head. Jesus said to him, One who has bathed does not need to wash except for the feet, but is entirely clean. And you are clean, though not all of you, for he knew who was to betray him. For this reason he said, not all of you are clean. After he had washed their feet, he put on his robe and returned to the table. He said to them, do you know what I have done to you? You call me teacher and Lord, and you are right, for that is what I am. So if I, your Lord and teacher, have washed your feet, you also ought to wash one another's feet. For I have set you an example that you also should do as I have done to you. Very truly I tell you, servants are not greater than their master, nor are messengers greater than the one who sent them. If you know these things, you are blessed if you do them. And then verse 31. When he had gone out, Jesus said, Now the Son of Man has been glorified, and God has been glorified in him. And then verse 35. By this everyone will know that you are my disciples, if you have love for one another. This is the word of God for the people of God. Thanks be to God. Amen. Patty and Kimberly are here today to offer our special music. Thank you.
would invite you to turn with me to page 13 in your hymnals. Join me in the great thanksgiving. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give our thanks and praise. It is right and a good and joyful thing always and everywhere, Father Almighty, to give thanks to you, creator of heaven and earth. In love, you made us for yourself. And when we had fallen into sin and become subject to evil and death, your love remained steadfast. You bid your faithful people cleanse their hearts and prepare with joy for the Easter feast that renewed by your word and sacraments and fervent in prayer and works of justice and mercy, we may come to the fullness of grace that you have prepared for those who love you. And so with your people on earth and all the company of heaven, we praise your name and join their unending hymn, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. Holy are you, and blessed is your Son, Jesus Christ, whom you sent in the fullness of time to redeem the world. He emptied himself, taking the form of a servant, being born in our likeness. He humbled himself and became obedient unto death, even death on a cross. He took upon himself our sin and our death, and offered himself a perfect sacrifice for the sin of the whole world. By the baptism of his suffering, death, and resurrection, you gave birth to your church, delivered us from slavery to sin and death, and made with us a new covenant by water and the Spirit. On the night in which he gave himself up for us, he took bread, gave thanks to you, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take, eat. This is my body, which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. When the supper was over, he took the cup, gave thanks to you, gave it to his disciples, and said, Drink from this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. And so... In remembrance of these, your mighty acts in Jesus Christ, we offer ourselves in praise and thanksgiving as a holy and living sacrifice in union with Christ's offering for us as we proclaim the mystery of faith. Christ has died. Christ is risen. Christ will come again. Pour out your Holy Spirit on us gathered here and on these gifts of bread and wine. Make them be for us the body and blood of Christ that we may be for the world the body of Christ redeemed by his blood by your spirit make us one with Christ one with each other and one in ministry to all the world until Christ comes and we feast at his heavenly banquet through your son Jesus Christ with the Holy Spirit and your holy church all honor and glory is yours almighty God now and forever Amen this bread which we break is a sharing in the body of Christ and this cup over which we give thanks is a sharing in the blood of Christ it is for us the cup of the new covenant the covenant of love and forgiveness now this is not my table it's not the Methodist table it is the Lord's table and it is open to all who would receive the grace of God offered in and through Jesus Christ so you're invited to come as you feel led and receive the elements. Take whatever time you'd like here kneeling at the chancel rail to be in God's presence and to know that God loves you as we finish this most sacred week of the whole year. I would ask Eliud, would you come and help me serve today? And, and uh, Patty and Kimberly, would y'all be able to help? And I want to thank Ann Looney Cook, who's helped serve for three days now, and you'll probably have to help tomorrow too. So. <laughs> You're invited to come as you feel led.
God, we give you thanks for this holy mystery. On this day, we give you thanks for that new commandment that you have given us, that we love one another. It is a beautiful, beautiful commandment. It is full of joy and hope and life. It is also hard, not because people are unlovable, but because we sometimes find ourselves unlovable. Help us to know how much you love us, how much you love the whole world. Help us to know the depth of what you call out of us every day. As we go from this place, we have been nourished at your table. We have been filled with your grace and your love. Now, Lord, help us to share it by the power of your Holy Spirit. Amen. Would you stand and receive a benediction? May Jesus Christ, who for your sake became obedient even unto death, death on a cross, Keep you, strengthen you, now and forever. Amen.